This tutorial will demonstrate how to get more expression in ARIA GPO Player by using Logic Pro to change instrument timbre in real time. Okay, open a new song in Logic, select Empty Project, and let's create eight multi timbre software instruments. Okay, if you notice, each one of the tracks over here has its own unique MIDI channel. Track 1 is MIDI channel 1, track 2 MIDI channel 2, track 3 MIDI channel 3, and so on. Okay, let's add an instance of ARIA player to the instrument 1 channel strip, which is down here. Garretton, Archer player. Let's add a multi-output 8-track stereo. Okay, let's add instruments to the player. Let's start with a string quartet. So we'll go to violin one, violin two, viola, and cello. Okay, let's uh, zero out the, the ARIA mixer down here. Let's put the panning straight up so that the panning will work properly in Logic. And then let's create a general level setting. Okay, now we need to give each instrument its own unique output. Violin 1 gets output 1 and 2. Violin 2, output 3 and 4. Viola, uh, 5 and 6. Cello, 7 and 8. This allows every instrument to have its own channel strip in Logic. Okay, let's close the plugin. Let's open up in a new environment window. And let's add three auxiliaries, chan channel strips, or three auxes. So we go to instrument one, click three times on the little plus box in the lower right hand corner. And here are your three auxes. Okay, next we want to add a new instrument object and a new transformer object. Let's call, let's rename the instrument object Violin 1. And let's connect that to the instrument 1 channel strip. And let's remove cable and channel port. And then let's connect the next output in the violin one instrument object to the transformer and then connect the transformer to the instrument one channel strip okay next we're going to add a simple eq the parameter uh, that we're going to use to change the timbre is the high shelf parameter or the very first slider on this plugin to determine what exact parameter will be controlling that we need to open up a monitor window, connect the output of the instrument one channel strip to the monitor, go back to the plugin and move the slider around so it'll register in the monitor window. It's telling us that it's fader three with set to zero. Okay, we want to open up the transformer, set the mode to apply operation and filter non-matching events change the status of the first condition row to control number one that's modulation okay in the second row of the of the uh, parameters we want to click on fix and fader it defaults to fader we want to change it to fader three zero to correspond these two numbers will correspond with these numbers in this window in the monitor window right down here okay we can close out of here and now the next thing we need to do is put the violin one instrument object into the arrange window so we can control this parameter in the EQ so let's drag and drop it here we want to create 
and I'm going to go ahead and move this up here to the top so I can tell what's going on. Now, if I move the mod wheel on my keyboard, you will see the high shelf parameter moving down here. That's the parameter that will actually change the timbre of the instrument. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like. This is without. Okay, all that's changing now is the volume, because that is the default for ARIA player, where the modulation wheel controls volume. Okay, now let's turn on the EQ, and I'll play the same excerpt. So if you notice, the sound got a little brighter and a little more intense as I increased the high shelf. And just the opposite happened as I decreased it. It became a little more mellow and a little less intense. Okay, there's one more step to complete this process. Because instrument 2 in ARIA player is being routed to AUGS 1, the setup of the instrument and transformer objects are a little different. So let's create a new instrument object. Let's name that violin 2 and let's create one more transformer and that can go over here in fact let's move this back underneath okay so then you connect the violin 2 instrument object to the second instance of the aria player and we want to remove the the, the channel then we want to go back to the violin one object, instrument object, and route the second output and connect that to the transformer, but connect the transformer to AUGS one. And we go up here and let's add an instance of DJ EQ, and there it comes up. Okay, now once again, we need to add the instrument object to the arrange window so we can control it with the mod wheel from our keyboard controller. So let's click and drag, and drop and drag it onto the Arrange window. Click Create. Let's move it up underneath, or just above Instrument 2. OK, once again, we need to find out what the parameter number to control the high shelf of this EQ down here. So we need to add a monitor. We'll click and drag it over here. Take the output of AUGS1 into the monitor window and slide it back and forth. This time it's fader to zero. So let's open up transformer window, set the mode to filter non-matching, apply operation filter non-matching events. The status of the first condition row will be controller number one. The status of the second condition row will be fixed at fader. And this time it's number two and set to zero. So now if I go to my violin two and move the mod wheel, you can see down here that it's changing the timbre. Let's go ahead and play a little. So play and move your, the modulation wheel of your keyboard. You'll notice that now both the volume and timbre are changing, adding even more expression to your MIDI tracks.